Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Raceway at Western Fair District. Track announcer Shannon Sugardoll with you for the pregame known as Race Day. We've got some winter light conditions this evening in London. Uh, flurries falling from the sky, though the track crew, they've been out and on the surface all day long. A fabulous job, our track crew looking at a good track to begin this evening's action. HPI vet play of the day. Let's go up to race number six for the high five. On the rail, it's going to be Boat Wrecker tries to drop and pop tonight. It's going to be Colin Kelly combining with trainer Kyle Bossens. Always a strong combo here at the raceway. Should be a strong factor in there. Boat Wrecker, 3-1 to one on the morning line. Tonight's HBI play of the day for HBI Bet Western Fair District. That is in race number six. The early pick three play. It's the TVG pick three right up front in race number one. TVG does pick up our front two races tonight. Of course, all ten featured on HBI. The opener going to the one. Fight your obsession. Natasha Day on board. Driving in part for Team to the Moon in support of breast cancer awareness. I'll also chase after the six. Remus Blue Chip uh, back to the barn of Len Lalonde Jr. And we do know that Remus Blue Chip has had lots of success here in London in the past under trainer Len Lalonde Jr. Remus Blue Chip at a post six. Scott Coulter goes on that one. We're four deep in race number two, final leg of an early pick three, and we've spread them five deep in there with a one, two, four, five, and eight. Devil's Peak coming back here for trainer Vic Putty, Nick Stewart on board from the back tier spot there. It's back from Woodbine Mohawk Park. Early pick four starts in that third race. You gotta stay deep there. It's a bit wide open. We're on the trot for the fourth race using tax savings, Daisy River, and seven stars who's missed some time, but uh, if he's got his A game tonight, very tough to go against the six, seven stars in race four. Fifth race, number three, American Sniper, or the six, Ace 44 Murray, both heavily faved on the morning line tonight, and we're four deep in race number six to complete it. Late pick four, starting up in race number seven. It's the Terra Hills feature race, and we're on the trot to begin it. And again, went five deep in that opening leg, a bit of a wide open affair on the trot, the likes of Avuncular on the rail, then Nebraska Jack, who's getting class relief. Little Point Sable comes in here and uh, bop to the top, leaving from that trailing spot, does follow out some speed. Scott Young stays on for Evelyn Harms, the eight in race seven. Eighth race, we switch back to the pace. And we're four deep in there. If we get over to the ninth, it's the two master switcher, the five member me, a compact field of five for the ninth race on the trot. Get over to race number 10. It's a two, five, or seven. I'll look to round out a late pick four. If you got comments or suggestions, our team would love to hear from you. Greg Blanchard, Greg Gengo, myself. There's our email info. Give me a follow on Twitter tonight, at SugarDoll. Join the conversation. We're going to take a short break right now. We'll come back with a whole lot more including a Wednesday Rewind. Stick around. HPIBet.com. Access, rewards, and more. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the show. You're watching Race Day at the Raceway. I'm your track announcer, Shannon Sugardo, with you. Wagering menu for 10 races this evening, getting on our way at 6.15 Eastern, low 15% take. Featured on our pick threes, pick fours, and high fives, hooking you up always with free program selections, video, and more on our website at westernfairdistrict.com. Go to wagers here in London. They are that pick three play right up front again. TVG picking up our first few races this evening, all 10 featured on HPI. You'll be playing into a decent sized pick three pool. That pick three pool is averaged, I believe, around $5,000, close to $7,000 in the early pick three pool last night. Give it some thought and take a shot. Pick fours begin in races three and seven, always $5,000 guaranteed pools on those wagers. The high fives go the added distance of a mile and a 16th, featured in races six and 10. And again, it's a low 15% takeout on all of our go-to wagers. As far as recent 20 cent payouts go, it's all about the high five. Check out these prices over the last week here. This is all in the new year. 
Yesterday, we had a 20 cent super high fi play come in at just shy of $7,000. We featured the non jackpot type high fi. The pool will pay out to any and all that select the top five finishers minus the low takeout. Again, the 20 cent high fi payouts have been crazy good thus far in 2019. It pays to bet the raceway. As promised, we're going to Take a look at a Wednesday rewind now. We're going to go back to a fan fave in San Pale. It's the 2011 Breeders Crown Open Trot Final for a purse of $600,000. And the guys are going to queue it up now with Ken Middleton's call. This is at Woodbine. Crag it up. Seven of racing's greatest older trotters in behind the gate. It's the Breeders Crown Final Open Trot. Here they come. They are off and trotting, and Arch Madness strikes first down the center from the inside. Pedal to the metal is to find the world, and it's to find the world with rail control. Arch Madness has camped at his flank from in second. Taken back towards the inside from in third, there is San Pale, and revving up early on the outside comes Rapide LaBelle, and he's going to be three high because Waples has got him hung out there three high as they drive into that first turn. Taken back to be along from in fifth is Commander Crow, sixth away, Hot Shot, Blue Chip, Lucky Jim trails, and a quick quarter of 26 and two fifth seconds. With that early lead, Define the World takes this field to the back stretch for McDonnell. Challenging up on the outside now, here comes Sand Pale. Back there from in third is Arch Madness on his cover. Fourth is Rapide LaBelle. Then Commander Crow from in fifth to the outside. Hot Shot Blue Chip from in sixth. And Lucky Jim commences a rally from the backfield in seventh. Sand Pale positioned on the point now as Waples takes charge through the half in 54 and four fifth seconds. Back to second now, Define the World. Rapide LaBelle the outside from in third. Commander Crow's cover. Covered up on that one from in fourth. Then inside from in fifth is a locked up Arch Madness. Lucky Jim is a covered up sixth on the outside now for Jameson. And hot shot blue chip back in seventh. As the trotters begin the bend into the far turn. Sand Pale, Waples, leaders by a length. Rapide LaBelle second on the outside. In at the rail third to find the world. Commander Crow setting up a second over rally from in fourth. Jameson already tipping his hand three wide. Here comes Lucky Jim from the backfield. He self-destructed coming off cover. Lucky Jim's off stride. Sand Pale took a Roar the crowd in Woodbine. Knights are three quarters in 123 and one. Rapi LaBelle second on the outside, still closing. Here comes Commander Crow off off cover now, three wide for the drive. Sam Pale when called on to do so, digs in for Waples. Sam Pale on the inside, on his home turf. Sam Pale, you the man. Sam Pale wins the Breeders' Crown Open Trot in 151 and four. Rapi LaBelle second, and Commander Crow was third. There was a fan fave, Sand Pale, digging in big time to hold off the European invaders of Rapide LaBelle and Commander Crow. What a move by driver Randy Waples just prior to the quarter mile. For sure, that had to be the winning move as Rapide LaBelle got left out there, parked first up all the way. He was still coming out at the end, too. Just no quit in Rapide LaBelle. Uh, our own Greg Gangle with today's uh, selection for Wednesday Rewind. A nice choice indeed. The roar of the Woodbine crowd uh, you could hear in the background just added to the excitement of that race replay. If you've got a Wednesday Rewind selection, feel free to message it along. You can find me online at uh, Twitter, Facebook, email, whatever you want to do. Sand Pale, he raced exclusively for trainer Rod Hughes. Won 52 of 100 114 starts, banked $3.1 million on the racetrack, took his 150 and 4 career best as a seven year old in the Nat Ray at the Meadowlands. Regular pilot Randy Waples was on board for that. Sand Pale officially retired in 2015. That's our red Wednesday rewind for today's show. Let's go back and do some recapping now. So, pick three and pick four playing. We go back to race number one. Again, TVG is picking up our first few races this evening. I'm chasing after the one. Fight your obsession at number six, Remus Blue Chip. It's back in the barn of Len Lalonde Jr. in that opener. Over to race number two. Gets a little bit tougher. We're on the trot. Going four deep in there. E.L. Rock gets that rail advantage to work with. Todd Kennedy trains. Jay Harris stays on the drive. In the third race, even deeper. Five deep, in fact, for a solid-looking group of pacers. Early pick four. Starts in that third race. Stay with the same five. Then we're three deep. In the fourth, over into race number five, number three, American Sniper and six, Ace 44 Murray. They'll both take some heavy action in wagering. And over into race number six, the high five opportunity, full field of nine for a mile and a 16th. Number one boat wrecker getting class relief. 
tonight's HBI Bet Play of the Day. Race 7, it's the Terra Hills feature. A group of trotters to start up a late pick four. The likes of Avuncular, Nebraska Jack, Little Point Sables coming in. Bop to the top from the trailing spot. One to think about. Four deep over there in race number 8, the ninth race. Back on the trot for a compact field of five. Number two, Master Switch just has to stay trotting to be a serious factor there for Todd Aborth. Member me with the outside post, though. Again, there's only five in there. He looks, or she does look good to go. Danny O'Brien with Member Me, definitely one to be thinking about on that third leg of a late pick four. We get over to the 10th. Midtown Mickey as a value player could be up close there. Races well when on or near the lead. Put a circle around to Midtown Mickey. Travis Henry is back uh, with us this evening. He's on board the two. Midtown Mickey after finishing, I think it was fourth in the North American Driving Championship at Miami Valley there yesterday. So congratulations, Travis, on that, and welcome back to London. Cameraman Trev, he's standing by with his play on the night. What do you got for us, Trev? Race six, number one. Tag team action here, myself and the cameraman, hoping Bolt Wrecker gets that drop and pop in tonight. Again, it's Colin Kelly on board for Kyle Bossens. Pressure's on, guys. All righty. We've got uh, closing boards then, free programs, selections, video, replays, and more. You can find it all at westernfairdistrict.com slash raceway. Again, it's 10 races this evening. Expect it to be on a good track tonight to begin the card. Winter racing conditions, of course. First few races on TVG, all 10 on HPI. Good luck when playing tonight.